we are eating from Gammy Chicken and Beer, which is a Korean fried chicken place in Sydney. It was in Melbourne and then they've opened it in Sydney. I had a few Yum. I had a few sneaky fries and oh my god, try their fries. Mm. Oh. This is good. This is a mukbang if I have ever seen one. Oh your favorite! Chicken wings. We have. They've really gone to absolute town. Yeah, they? so thank you so much to Gammy Chicken and Beer for sending us this stuff because basically I wanted to do a massive mukbang and <laughs> they were kind enough to let me do a massive mukbang. Then it's the soy <laughs> flavor. Shh. Then we've got. Oh. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, we've got a lot of different. Oh. Wings? wings different wings. wings. We've got a lot of different wings. Yeah. These ones look hot and spicy. Oh. Oh my god. This is the perks of living with roommates though, because Daisy is at work right now and she's coming home in two hours. Oh, this will go. And this will disappear. This is a chicken burger and fries. Oh, I think. It looks like, like a laksa maybe. Oh no, this is the potato. I think this is the... This is the three layer potato. So it's like wedges. Oh my god. Yum. Yum. So it's like wedges dipped in like mashed potato. Oh yum! We have udon noodles! Seafood udon noodles. I think it might be vegetarian laksa. Oh. Came for this. This smelled really, really good. Oh my god. Mmm! I think it's probably vegetarian too. Yeah, just taste vegetarian. Ooh. That's so good. We've got. I really want to know what this is because that was yum. I'm gonna oh, it's kimchi. Like a or something. Oh my god, it's kimchi. A kimchi pancake. Oh yeah. Pan fried traditional Korean pickled cabbage and vegetables in savory pancake batter. Yeah, I love that. That's really good. That is so good. Oh, I see. Okay, so you have the chicken wings with sweet chili. Soy garlic, spicy, and honey mustard. This one, I'm assuming, are the spicy wings, honey soy wings, the original wings. That's the potato heaven, chicken burger, and chippies. The kimchi pancake. That is so tasty. This is just the boneless chicken wings, and they look spicy as all hell. First impressions is really yummy. I don't have too spicy yet. That spicy one. Oh my god, yum. Wing. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is that the same? Mm. Same flavor? It's a little bit different. Mm. Oh, this is spicier. I love the spicy one. Yeah, they're pretty, they're pretty spicy. Mm. These are the wings. They're not as hot. My, I prefer spicy ones too. 45 minutes. <laughs> have no talking. <laughs> I'm just eating. You will love that. Might just, um... right, I'm going for the burger because I'm a burger queen. This is really where where my heart lies. Oh, oh yeah. my god. Oh, yeah. oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry, no, you have to try this. You've hit 10 more bones. You've done a few. No, I think like. Three, four, five. Four, Eighteen. Twenty-five. Okay. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Okay, this is my, my favourite. That's my favourite. This burger is so good. It's so good, so good, so good, so good. The seasoning is a unique recipe of 18 different herbs and spices to produce that amazing Korean flavour. 18 different. They use all local ingredients and it's RSPCA certified chemical and cage-free chicken, which is really nice. So anyway, I'm gonna get up some questions. I like these videos. I do too. That's great. This, this video is probably my favorite to film, I wonder why. So this is seafood udon. Uh-huh. <laughs> there is a fly in here that is just killing my vibe. Open a window. I'm gonna try the laksa. Oh, bro. So unexpected. Oh, it's spicy. Woo! Is it really hot? <laughs> it's hot for me. Okay. We're pretty much the same on spice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here it it's comes. got kids. Yeah, no, it's pretty, that's pretty, that's pretty <laughs> hot. 
How often do we fight? Maybe... Three times a day? <laughs> maybe more? No, <laughs> probably every once every couple of days we'd probably like disagree about something. Mm -hmm. You know, that's normal. I think like, mm. I think if I, if I agreed with you on everything, that would be more annoying mm. than fighting. We're both extremely hot-headed and we are both extremely sensitive. I'll tell you what, so. the only thing we'll argue about today is over this burger. Um, a lot of people asking this, are you and Nick planning on getting engaged anytime soon? I think, I think maybe like six months or a year ago, we were like, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. I'm probably speaking for you a little bit, but as we've like delved, delved into our careers a little mm. bit further, um, we've just both sort of said, well, this is really our time to like do our, like do our thing and work, work yeah. on ourselves and getting established and that kind of thing. So yeah. getting, getting old, okay. <laughs> verging on older, but I don't, I, we're not in a rush, I would mm. say. Totally. Um, try that. Carb on carb kind of situation. Mm. What's my next move? What's my plan of attack? So are you going to get married to me or not? Oh. Uh, <laughs> no. So I'm just like, Yeah, well, probably not actually, no. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, we'll get to it. it. Sounds like, no. No, we won't. Not at all. <laughs> I, I agree. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Struggle a little bit, so it's fine. You can take the lead on this video, Nikki. Alright. Who's that? My time to shine. <laughs> Oh my god, this fly situation. Opening the window has just let more flies in. Sorry. Oh, what kind of food do I love that you can't stand and you love that I can't stand? Oh, well, I don't... <laughs> well, I don't eat fruit at all. I do mm. love fruit. You oh love god, fruit. This is there is about six flies in here. Hold that thought. What are some key things that you and your boyfriend do that keep your relationship strong? The key thing that probably keeps us the strongest is laughing. Like... Yeah. He's very funny, and I'm extremely funny. <laughs> <laughs> that is like the that is just the number one thing for me in our relationship is when we get to laugh together. I think the, like the more we the more we talk about stuff, the the closer we get. But naturally, like our I think our like goals in life and our um the way we see our lives heading is pretty much the same. But definitely, like just having just having fun. And not taking anything too seriously. Yeah. Yeah. Just totally. having fun and, and um, that's nice, I think. Okay, you can finish it if you want. Yes. Yeah, go for I've it. Got the approval. I have to ask for the approval. <laughs> well, if you finish something and she's not ready for it to be finished, it's like, you better watch out. <laughs> Daisy, look at how much food we have. I'm about to pass out. Oh, oh I'm shit. About to pass out too. You should try this sweet potato underneath wedges with mozzarella. Oh. Holy shit! Oh my god, this is like my dream. I know. <laughs> and do you love kimchi too? This is a kimchi pancake. I thought that was like a really weird looking pizza. What is it? Oh god. Mm. I um yeah sacrificed my <laughs> career for food. <laughs> I have to get rid of the bad mood. You you the can bad, answer this one. The bad mood. I'll just break up with him. <laughs> the bad mood. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. Biggest pet peeve about each other? None. None. I just love them so much. You're in a bad mood. You are a bad mood. Yeah, these... Look at all this free food you just got. These questions the mood. Well, righto. Days, would you like to come in then? <laughs> Get rid of the like, stink. <laughs> Who's the jealous type out of you two? Um, we're not really jealous. You are. A bit. Me? Yeah, you are. <laughs> You were like, where are you? Right, oh, I am no, not jealous. I'm the most chilled. You are. I'm so chilled. A hundred and ten percent the most jealous one. I hate where we're sitting. Oh my god! Yeah. Well, can you just like pipe up and stop being a little shit? Yeah. <laughs> See, fights on camera. <laughs> you literally look like devastated to be here. If you decided to go to uni, what degree would you have? I couldn't really get into uni. So, I don't know, maybe I, I would have liked to have done um, <clears throat> like media or, um, <clears throat> see I don't even know the names of the degrees because <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even get yeah. to look at them, media, like media and communication. Yeah, well, I think I wanted to be a weatherman. You wanted to be a weatherman? I wanted to be a weatherman or like tell the news or something, <laughs> but they don't let unqualified people do that. <laughs> what about you? 
<laughs> um, to answer your question about the breakup and the whole process behind that, because people are very curious about that. We never stopped, well, maybe you did, but we never stopped loving each other. Maybe you did. <laughs> I think you do. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I think we've had about 20 intermissions because the camera just ran out of space again and then died. So a lot of people are asking about our breakup, the whole process behind it, if we stopped talking altogether and then how we started talking again. So Nick, do you want to lead the charge? Give us... So what happened in terms of like the talk, like talking? <laughs> well, I like, what happened, <clears throat> like with the breakup, how you dealt with it, how we really started talking. Some of the uh, the things I was doing um, in terms of just like going out, like getting a bit too messed up, that sort of thing, it just kind of um, all be just all became a bit too much and like we were fighting a lot because of it and um, it was sort of due to like my behaviour. So um, I guess, yeah, Sam kind of called it and said, I can't do this anymore, you've got to work on yourself and, and, and fix yourself. Um, which, which hurt to kind of hear and, um, and all that stuff like initially, but then it was actually probably the best thing for me to kind of um, get off the path I was on and, and um, sort of go down a better one. And yeah, so we, we broke up. Um, I was like desperately like trying to fix it, trying to fix it, trying to fix it, but um, it was really my, it was just myself that I had to fix. Mm. Kind of the dust settled, I guess, with the breakup and we went through a period of um, I don't know, it probably wasn't that long, but like a few weeks or something where we didn't talk. No, it was actually two months. Oh, two months? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, it felt quick to me. Mm. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, so Do you want to I'll give that a go? So after the breakup, uh, I was like, no, it's done, completely done forever. And then after like three months passed, I was like, Oh, I would love to just have dinner with him and just like see how he is. And so we caught up for dinner. I was just after I was like, you know, I, I mean, I'd like to try again, like like to start dating. And he was like, no. <laughs> and I was like, excuse me? What do you mean, no? But because he was so, I guess, focused on his new direction and working on himself, he was like, I don't want to go back into the way that I was and I don't want to risk having our relationship have the same issues um, and I was just kind of like well okay I wasn't expecting that but I was like okay all good and then I mean obviously the next day he called and said he regrets everything <laughs> yeah I pretty much went home that night and was like you are so dumb because like, <clears throat> that literally like probably the, the entire six months or 95% or of that I was just like oh I wish things went back to the way they were and then <clears throat> I don't know some weird human reaction when you're faced with the situation that you want and you're like, oh, oh, oh no, no, I don't want no, it. no, 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 and then I was just like, why did you do that? But it was good because I mean, I, it, it really showed me that he actually was working on himself and didn't want anything to get in the way of that and had this new clean, clear path, um, which was really great for me. So I was like, all right, you do you, I don't want to get in the way, but then surely enough, he came there running back. I guess we weren't talking, he was texting me and sending me lots of flowers and everything after we broke up and lots of really cute prezzies and then I kind of had to just cut it and say please just stop, leave me alone, I don't want this anymore. We had cold turkey, no conversation for probably two months and then I just sent him a random text being like hey. Oh no, here, here we, we go. go, here we go and then it's still, <laughs> still going. And we're still, yeah, it's been about, it's been about a year since we've been back together actually and it's better than ever. I think it's been, yeah, oh, we got back together in July, actually, yeah, so probably more six months, six months, maybe? Six months? Yeah. It's been like two years. Oh, oh, has it been a year and a half since we've been back together? Yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> anyway, a lot of people like to say that breakups, you can't break up and get back together, it doesn't work, mm -hmm. but when the breakup is for a reason for someone or both of you to work on yourself and then come back together as better people, it 100% works and like I don't recommend it I'm not saying like hey go break up and like see how it goes but if there are issues that you both still are deeply in love with each other but the issues are causing massive fights and you guys are really struggling you need to spend time apart figure out your own figure out who you are without that person and then if you come back together then you come back together we just sort of have figured it out I've sort of figured out <clears throat> who I am who I want and then that has um, had a flow-on effect like into our relationship and there's a lot yeah. more positive energy and trust and, and all that sort of thing. Which, um, I'm smarter, braver, funnier, kinder.
kind of. You are smarter and braver. <laughs> Because I'm a coward, a dumb coward, I'm a dumb coward, <laughs> but I am funny. No, yeah, I will give you that one. He is no. actually very funny, but go. I do think I'm, I am funny. Uh. You are funny to look at. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I think you've given up on the food, so I can't eat. I think we should call it here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. Thank you so much to Gummy Chicken and Beer for sending us all this delicious food. We have breakfast, lunch, and dinner for the next few days, I think. Easily, yeah. Oh, and I'll see you next time. Bye.